Hello and welcome back to another video and today I'm actually going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to remote duel. So there's no webcam needed, nothing like that. Remote dueling is basically this new way for Yu-Gi-Oh! players to duel from home in a safe, socially distanced uh, manner because you guys know what, um, during this time. And basically what's going to happen is that these remote duels allow us to play with actual physical cards while at home against each other. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So to remote duel, all you need actually actually is something to record your um, field. You need your deck obviously and a place to play and then a computer so you can see your opponent's board. How it's going to work is that you're going to have your phone or a webcam or something looking at your board and then it's going to show it to your opponent. So how that works actually is that there are multiple applications and stuff like that. But let's start off from scratch. You guys don't have a webcam. You don't have anything fancy. Let's go from there. Um, there is an app called Irion Webcam which actually creates your phone into a webcam. So what happens is that it connects your computer with Bluetooth. Even if your computer doesn't have Bluetooth, it doesn't matter, it will connect. And what will happen is that basically um, whatever the phone sees, the computer will see. So over here, yeah, let me actually just turn around really fast. Sorry about making you guys dizzy over there. But over here is actually my remote dual setup. So as you can see, um, there's quite a bit of things. Uh, obviously, we have my computer right there. That is my iMac. And then we have the board. Right, we have, here I'll stand up so you guys can see a bit better. Um, we have over here my deck, obviously, the extra deck, deck box needs to be on the thing, and then your field center and the mat. So to start remote dueling, all you need is to download this application called Irian Webcam, and I will leave a link to it in the description. When you download it both on your computer and your phone, and it is available for both iOS and Android, you can actually open it up on your computer and on your phone, and that's when something like this will pop up. When something like this will pop up, that means that it's both on your phone and on your computer at the same time and connected. Now you may be wondering where my phone is, but actually my phone is right over here. I got one of these clamps that hold my phone at actually the dollar store for four bucks. So it was super easy to get, super cheap, and it's doing an amazing job. As you can see, um, it's holding my phone up and my phone is recording over there. And because of the Bluetooth application, so that's some um, Irian webcam, it records it directly into my computer, even though there are no wires, nothing. So as you can see, it's going directly inside. And basically, that's what my opponent sees over there in the corner. Um, they see my board and stuff. And what you're going to do, basically, is that your opponent is going to have the same thing on um, their side, and it's going uh, to be showing it on their screen. So what's going to happen is that you and your opponent will both have your own boards on um, your like desk or table and then your opponent will actually have their board on their desk and table and then it's on your computer their board so you need the computer in front of you because over here is where you're actually going to see your opponent's board. So now that I told you guys that, I want to show you a couple other things that you may not need as much but they are in my opinion quite necessary. Eerie and Webcam is an application that does take up quite a bit of battery. By the way, this is unsponsored. This is completely just me talking about remote duels. Um, it, it does take up quite a bit of battery. So as you can probably see, I actually have a cord coming through my phone directly into a battery pack. So the battery pack will keep my phone charged while playing and that way keeping it at all times like fully charged. Next up, we have something I think is very, very important. We actually have a USB light, as you can see, that is very, very bright. And what it does is actually, I connect it to my wall over there. Down there, I connect it to my wall, and basically, it shines this amazing white light that when we have like, for example, these sleeves, you can see, it makes it so that your opponent can see it better instead of it being all dark, right? So like, for example, if you put the cards and your opponent looks, they would see something like, for example, if they look at that, you see, you can see it a lot better than, for example, if it was off, it would look like that, and that's, like, really ugly. But with the light on, you can see it significantly better. Um, yeah, so the light, this light actually cost me $20 on Amazon, Canadian, by the way. All the prices I see in this video are Canadian. They are not USD, so chances are it's even cheaper for you guys. So, yeah, we have, obviously... The light, we have the clamp, the $4 Canadian clamp, which is like, it also looks pretty cool, I'm not even gonna lie. And battery pack was also 3 bucks Canadian. 
We have the $20 um, USB, because it connects to anything by USB, um, white light. And next up, we have something, two more things actually, that are personal preference. We actually have headphones. So over here, I have the Raising Kraken Pros. Um, obviously, you don't need something like this. Any headphones work, but I highly recommend using headphones because it's annoying for if you have people around you to listen to you, your opponent talking. And of course, for you, it's also important because then you can hear your opponent better. And then my next part is a great segue. Um, if you don't have a microphone on your headphones, I actually recommend getting something called an external microphone. Over here, I have the blue Snowball. This is a microphone that is actually quite good and is um budget too. Um, basically, this microphone it catches your voice and it's a condenser microphone, and your opponent will be able to hear you crystal clear. Obviously, it's not mandatory. Most computers have a microphone like this one, so you can just use the microphone in your computer or inside of your headset. But yeah, so getting an external microphone is never a bad option, even if you aren't like a YouTuber like I am, who actually needs an external microphone so you guys can actually hear me okay. Um, but yeah, it's just something really, really nice to have, just in general, because you are going to be using it quite a bit. It's more often than you think. And then next up, of course, one of the most mandatory things is that you have to remember, because you're not at Locals anymore, you need to have your own dice. You can't go to the person next to you asking him for dice. So always keep at least two dice with you. I actually have in my deck box about... 10, 11, or 12 or something inside of the dice tray, obviously. I need to throw those back in, actually. There we go. And as you can see, yeah, just always keep dice with you because it's very important, especially when you're going to be doing, like, you know, dice rolls or keeping counters. Stuff like that is all very important with the dice. And, yeah, Matt, obviously, not even going to talk about that. Very, very um, self-explanatory. By the way, the reason Kraken um, Pros, they by no need do you need something like this, but these are... Uh, 120 Canadian and then you have the blue snowball which is about 70 Canadian so both are very very good and worth it in my opinion if you guys want to check that out next up I'll actually be showing you guys exactly how your opponent sees it so you will be needing um, something called discord to play with your opponent and over here um, here I'm gonna go into full screen basically you're, once you turn on your video and access the Arian webcam, this is what your opponent is going to see. They're going to see your board. So, well, right now it's reversed because um, it shows it reversed to you guys. Well, to me. But when it goes to your opponent, it outputs it back in the normal direction. But yeah, so basically, that's what your opponent is going to be seeing. You're going to be some seeing something very similar from your opponent. So yeah, that's basically that. And that is basically remote dueling. So yeah, all you need is to remember... You need something to hold up your phone, and your phone, highly recommending a battery pack. Uh, an external microphone is optional, headphones also optional. Highly recommended, you need to have good lighting for remote duels, of course. Grab your deck, and then, um, mat deck box, but very, very important. You need to have dice, always have dice with you. Nobody likes a guy who doesn't have dice, and they have to roll for you and stuff like that. And another thing, actually, kind of important that I forgot to mention. We have the field center. Field centers are very useful, especially when you're remote dueling, because when you're remote dueling, it's much harder to see where each card is. So field center just helps you so much to exactly navigate through the board. And that is basically it for the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, and of course, I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, see ya.